Guys, welcome to our down streaming series. I promise you that this series, wow, it's going to be very comprehensive. And by the end of this series, guys, wow, you're going to be able to become a down streaming ninja. Now, I'm going to put this up for you guys here. What you're seeing on the screen is our house washing system. Step number one, connect to water supply. Number two, home and plant protection, something you see us do a lot uh, when we're out in the field. Number three, you're going to do a walkthrough. Number four, the five around, of course. You guys hear me talk about this all the time, marketing, picking up the neighbors when you guys are out there actually doing the jobs. Number five is when uh, we're actually doing the house itself. We're going to spray our hot sauce, then rinse it off. Number six, this is when we get the client and do a final walkthrough with them. And then finally, number seven, number seven is we collect payment and then finally number eight we ask for that awesome five star google review don't worry guys i am going to uh, throughout this series we're going to be talking a lot about this house washing system you don't have to write this down right now because basically every single one of these episodes that we're going to be doing out in the field together is going to be about the the, the eight step approach this system house washing system so you guys can get out there because remember guys it's all about that quality of service gonna help you tremendously out there with uh, your branding also uh these th these videos are going to be a little bit longer than most of my videos because guys there's very going to be very little editing it's going to be all with the gopro because i want you guys right there i want you guys inches away from that wall with me i want you guys to feel like you're washing that house with me and then so you know i'm not doing any time lapse video or anything like that and then also in this intro i'm going to show you guys how i make my house washing mix so i'm going to use this same intro for all the videos because you know otherwise it's going to get very 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 boring for you guys because it's going to be repetitive but all you got to do is copy this formula exactly of course if you want to know more about the chemicals and everything that we use watch episode 10 but i'm going to show you guys today how i batch mix my house mix my house mix now most of you guys like 95 percent of you guys are going to be batch mixing when you batch mix it just means that you are actually pre-making the the house solution that you're going to need for that day and what i recommend you guys as new guys is you're you're going to be about you're going to need about 10 gallons of mix per house so if you have three houses to wash that day i would recommend you make about 30 gallons of mix and then also as a new guy do not make mix for multiple days i recently had one of you guys reach out to me and said that you you had pre-made your house mix for two weeks that's a big mistake because you know uh, uh this uh sh guys it does not last forever it loses strength so you want to make sure that you're making your mix no no later than let's say no more than two or three days at a time so the mix you make for monday should last you m monday tuesday maybe by wednesday you're making new mix so let's get into this now in order to make your mix you're going to need one of these it doesn't have to be metal like mine this is a cooking cup okay a measuring cup you're just going to order that on amazon it costs like i think i paid like five bucks or six bucks for this uh i i chose metal just because you know i drop stuff all the time and i don't want it to break but anyway so this is what i refer to when i'm telling you a cup so a cup of surfactant now the surfactant i use right here you can see it is snot monade i mentioned this I don't even know how many times now if you use a different uh, surfactant that's fine okay if you lose eliminator or southern draw from cody that's fine as long as you are using a professional commercial grade surfactant again the one that i use is snotmanade we order this in like five gallon pails i have probably right now here at the shop about 40 or 50 gallons of this stuff so here you go so when you're going to batch mix this is a 55 gallon vertical tank now today we're going to be downstreaming four houses okay four houses so i'm going to make 30 gallons now here's the thing i only actually need about 25 gallons that's really what i rock that's really what i take out into the field with me on a daily basis is about 25 gallons of of pre-made mix 
you guys are going to need a little bit more like I explained, but I always like to take a little bit extra because six, seven out of 10 times, I'm picking up neighbors. So you guys got to take that into account. In your case, I am using my hose here, my transfer pump hose, but in you guys' case, you're actually going to carry like the, the gallon jugs. Make sure that you carry a little bit extra with you in case you miscalculated and you need to make some mix on a fly. And then also if you pick up the neighbor, okay? So anyway, I've already put in this tank right here in the back here, I've already put 15 gallons of SH. Remember SH guys stands for sodium hypochlorite, AKA bleach. Now, you're going to make what's called a 50 50 mix so that means that the mix is going to be half water and half bleach in my case here i am making 30 gallons of pre-made mix mix batch mixing okay so i've already put in this in this tank right here guys the tank was was bone dry so what i did already is i put 15 gallons of sh in here okay you guys got that it's got 15 gallons of sh i need 30 gallons so what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna fill this up all i gotta do is turn this on right here you guys can see here look nothing but water you see that now i'm running nothing but water and i don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on screen right here but i got a little black line here where my where my hand is anyway that's the the 30 gallon mark right there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, this is very important, your surf, so your surfactant, you're going to put a cup for every 10 gallons, okay? A cup for every 10 gallons. Actually, really easy math, right, guys? So you see me here, look. Again, this is snot manade, cherry-scented snot manade. So there you go. One, that's one cup. Two, two right here. I love this stuff, guys. Uh, the, the reason why I don't use a lemonator is because to me, a lemonator smells too much like bleach. And this right here, oh man, guys, if you guys get the cherry scented, oh man, guys, it smells like, like uh, cherry Kool-Aid. You guys remember drinking Kool-Aid as kids? So anyway, that's my third right there. And that's it right there, guys. So remember, you're using a cup, a measuring cup for every 10 gallons of mix. So if I was making 50 gallons, it would be five cups. If I was making 20 gallons, it'd be two cups. If I was making 25 gallons, it'd be two and a half cups. If I was making 35 gallons, it would be three and a half cups. So that's super easy. And then you gotta, oh, I'm about, guys, I'm about like half an inch away from reaching my, my mark here of 30 gallons and my mix is done. So I'm gonna hold this right here. Again, look, just water. And this is what's called a 50-50, and that's it, that's done. So there you have it, guys. This is the same mix. Now, in the, on this truck, I have a roof pump, and I can transfer, I have a metering system, and I can transfer chem uh, chemicals as needed. But of course, you guys starting out, you're not gonna have that. 98, 99% of you guys are gonna be batch mixing, and that's how you, you're, you're gonna do it, guys. 50-50 mix, half water, half bleach, and then you're going to put one cup of surfactant for every 10 gallons of mixture. And then the final thing I'm going to leave, leave you with is this. If you are getting your bleach at Walmart or Home Depot, you're going to run that straight. You guys got that? If you're getting at Home Depot or, or Lowe's, you're going to run that straight because you cannot trust what that ratio says on a bottle. More, more likely, if it says 10% or 11% or 12%, whatever it says on a bottle, Expect it to be a lot less than that because again guys you don't know how long that's been sitting in a warehouse somewhere right my sh gets delivered to me every monday fresh we and then that whole week we go through five six hundred gallons of sh and then on monday they deliver another five six hundred gallons for me so we're always using brand spanking new fresh sh so i guys i recommend you guys I, I do that. You're going to run it straight if you're getting it from Lowe's or Home Depot. But if you're getting commercial grade SH, like from a, a chemical supply company or maybe a, um, a pressure, washing, pressure washing supply company, something along those lines where you know your SH is really good and it's strong, then you're going to want to cut it because you'll be spraying two, 
like chemical that is too strong and then plus you're going to be going through a lot of chemicals so there you have it guys this is how i make my mix guys i do not change my mix for nothing this is how every single one of my trucks goes out every day and 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 we use the same mix remember quality comes from consistency guys so get out there work this system and make sure that above everything else you do it exactly as i tell you because you're going to be able to reach that same quality as well now let's get out there and wash some houses All right, guys, we're ready to rock and roll here on another downstreaming house. You can see here, we'll do a quick walkthrough. Then all we got to do is turn it on. I already did the home protection. I'm already connected. You guys can see my Flexzilla there. Uh, I already got water going into the tank. You can see here how much algae buildup is on this house. Now, um, you know, you, you guys, I've been saying this all along, you know, during the downstreaming series. Oh, this side's not bad at all. Seems like this. Wow, what a difference, huh? Look at this. Super clean, super dirty. Um, during this downstreaming series, guys, make sure. I don't know if you guys can see this on video, but man, uh, their gutters are just, you see it overflowing. Let me see if you can see it here. You see all the debris right there on the gutter. So we're gonna we're gonna talk to this customer about having their their gutters done. Okay, because the gutters are overflowing. Look at this concrete, guys wow man that is a lot of mold on that concrete so we're going to talk to them about that you see all the the home protection there the tape the blue tape this side here is not bad of course the chimney looks really bad but i don't know if i've mentioned this before chimneys recharge extra because that you got to soft wash that so that's like an upsell of 200 we charge for a chimney that side we charge 189 for the bigger chimneys we charge 289 wow we're gonna try to, um, you know, um, get this for one of our teams. Look at this pool patio. This thing's really nasty. Uh, we're gonna try to upsell some stuff here. Uh, I'm just here to do the house. And, and by the way, I wanted to say this too. So the guy who hired us is actually not the owner of this house. Um, he's a property manager so he manages this property we have i don't know a couple dozen property managers that reach out to us from time to time you can see up here gutters are really bad look at this window sill right here full of algae algae here on the siding uh this one also had a ring camera i want you guys always to be you know um, aware of these little things you know details i say this all the time attention to details we got some mold growing on the brick and algae growing on the brick here and then also right here uh a lot of algae right here on the brick so we're gonna hit that with our sauce and then the worst part of the siding is on the other side these trucks that are here could not be moved there's nobody here normally i would ask especially this black one but i'm gonna try my well not just my best i mean i'm not gonna get any chemical on it so i'm gonna spray mostly from over here to over there and then at the end when i have 100 percent water I'll go ahead and rinse that down, but it's not super ideal, but that's okay. Because it's kind of also far, it's like 20 feet away from the house. And then touch that up, up there, okay? So let's go ahead and uh, and uh, start, our, start our engine and let's get going. Here we go. Okay, so downstreaming, you always want to start on the corner, never on the middle of the wall that is if you want to be efficient that's why we do that to maximize efficiency okay so start at a corner work your way up and remember guys the solution has a dwell time 8 to 12 minutes meaning it's not gonna work right away you got to let that sit so the house washing when you're doing downstreaming divide it up into three parts you know the first phase is you want to sauce it up phase one sauce it up that's what we're doing right now phase two you want to spot treat and that's when like spots that are really resilient 
to the to the solution you know still really black or green or whatever you want to hit it with your your shooter tip and then finally the last phase is you're going to come through and uh, rinse everything out very important that you guys you know work a system because you know we talk about this all the time you know how important quality of, of, of work that you do is because this is how you're going to get that organic uh, marketing you know people recommending you word of mouth and all of that is if you do quality work and again here there's nobody here the person who hired us is not the owner of this house property manager but we're gonna reach out and see if we can upsell some of this concrete work and I mean just look at that patio back there and we had seen pictures I didn't actually this one of the houses that I didn't come to to price out or anything but uh, the pictures were sent we told them that we would touch up some of the areas on a brick, but we charge extra, extra for that because it's gotta be soft washed. You know, I um, wanted to bring this up. You know, I have a uh, guide. I've mentioned this in other videos. I have a house pricing guide, right? A blueprint for you guys. And it will give you pricing of downstreaming and soft washing and the whole night. So you guys uh, know exactly what you're pricing out there. But anyway, so this house wash here, we charge $379, $379. And right now, oh, that's coming right off, guys, like butter. Look at that. Right now, uh, our, our minimum price at Mr. Bubbles for like a new customer, this isn't a new customer, but I'm just saying like our minimum price is $399 but with customers that have been with us for a long time like this one we uh we give a little bit of better pricing so he, they just wanted to get their siding done and we had seen on the pictures like some of this brick see where i'm hitting it right there look at that it's coming right off like butter but like i said that needs to be soft wash and i'm glad that we actually got a house like this but it's not often i talk about this on, on video with you guys like you gotta charge extra. Don't be giving your work away for free out there, guys. You gotta charge, you know, accordingly for these jobs because it's expensive. And soft washing is expensive, um, you know, because you go through a lot of solution. Whereas, you know, downstreaming, oh, right there, there's a, uh, or there was, I'm sorry, there was a huge wasp nest right there where I'm spraying. Um, you know, that's why I recommend you guys start out doing uh, downstreaming because it's so, so universal, so much safer for the house and the, the plants because um, the concentration of the solution. But anyway, you guys can watch the house wash here. And I, I'll jump in once in a while to talk about, you know, what it is that we're doing, what's going on. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about is this. So the solution itself, right? You guys saw in the, in the intro there. Um, we put together a 6% solution in our, in our tank, right? You guys saw there. And a lot of you guys, I've already gotten, I don't know, a couple dozen emails. And lots of comments and also questions about uh, how the solution you know what the actual strength of the solution is so I'm gonna explain this to you guys exactly what's going on here with my solution now if you notice in the intro what I said was you know cutting your solution is going to depend on where it is that you get your SH right you guys remember that if you're when i was using sh that i bought on my local ooh, that, that's looking pretty good that i bought on my local lowe's and walmart and all that i was not cutting that and the reason why that doesn't need to be cut is because it's simply not strong enough 
it's not strong enough i know it'll say whatever it says on a bottle i remember i think it used to say 10 percent hey guys it's been so long that i bought my sh in a bottle but you know if it says 10 percent on there for example there's no way there's no way what i'm saying is there's no way that you can really trust that oh look how good this wall already looks there's no way you can trust that because you don't know how long that bottle was sitting in a warehouse even before it showed up to the store right for all you know for all we know it could have been in a warehouse for nine weeks 12 weeks right so we don't know for sure if it is 10 percent or not most likely not yeah oh really dirty right there and of course if you guys remember this is where i started and i'm doing my second coating already on this one so you know sometimes that's what it is you got to do a couple coats in order to get a wall really good looking good so i'll talk about it more on the other side so we're away from the engine here the machine so you guys can hear me really well let's go on the other side here i'll hit this really good here real quick you guys can just watch There you go. So, you know, the way that I make my solution, guys, is not the only absolute way to do it, right? Like, did you guys know, for example, that there's people, lots of people that I know, you know, have big companies in the whole nine that they don't even put um, surfactant in their solution. A lot of people didn't, a lot of you guys probably didn't even know that. Some guys, some guys don't like surfactant in their solution. Some guys, some guys do. Some guys add a wax to their solution. I know a couple guys that do that. I don't. I like my stuff simple. Right? So, I, I gave you guys a, a formula that I've been using for, you know, eight plus years now. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. That solution's already starting to work. Uh, and that's what works for me. I'm gonna hit that with my uh, shooter tip. That's what works for me, right? But some guys, some guys, uh, I know a, a couple guys that will run their SH straight, even though it's 12 and a half percent, for example. Uh, I don't do that. I cut mine because I'm able to maximize the, the, you know, the usage, you know what I mean? Cause I'm getting 600 gallons and I'm able to milk that a little bit more. You know, I'm not going through so much SH. And then the other side of that is, you guys gotta remember, you know, I talk about this uh, home and plant protection, right? And so this is the bottom line. When you are taking a, a, an SH that is 12 and a half percent and you're cutting it down to 50-50 mix, that means you're bringing that percentage from 12 and a half percent down to um, a 6%, right? 
from 12 and a half percent to six percent and then you know we're putting our dipstick in that solution that is 12 and a half percent oh look at that guys coming out like butter right there look at that i don't know if you guys can see that really good on camera but man it's coming out like like it's cutting through paper so that six percent guys by the time it makes its way through my pump because remember i'm not soft washing guys i am downstreaming right i'm using my pressure washer to downstream so by the time that solution makes its way through my pump through my gun down my line and hits that wall it's been further diluted down to a one like a 0.8 to a, a, a 1.2 around there on a strong end oh there's a bird's nest right there guys i don't know if you can see that really good right where my finger is there's a bird's nest right there i don't know if there's birds baby birds so i'm gonna try my best to avoid it that was all green now that's gone on a brick let's do this right here So, and the reason why we do that, guys, is because it's safer. Safer for the environment, the plants. The, the only thing it's not safe for is the bacteria that we're trying to get rid of. You guys got that? So, you know, I'm not spraying, you know, 6% on the actual house. My solution is 6%, but it's, again, it's being further diluted by, by my machine and my pump so I want to explain that so because it seems like some of you guys are confused by that and again the reason why we cut our SH is because we don't want in, we don't want our people because I'm not the only person out in the field we don't want our guys damaging people's things right we don't want our guys killing plants you know uh, destroying siding none of that so we try to make it so it's less of a um, liability for us you know and that's what you guys want too right you guys want to go oh right here this whole part right here you guys don't want to go out there and damage people's things right and have people call you and send you pictures and stuff and you know be upset at you because you killed their plants or wow that looks that looks so good this was all green these three pillars right here or columns i should say they were green as well now nice 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 and that's why we do that so to reiterate guys we take that 12 and a half percent we dilute it down to three percent and then my line further dilutes it down because the injector that I use is the same injector I've been using since I started Mr. Bubbles, which is a two point, ooh, I like that, 2.3 injector, 2.3. And I'm using a, in, my, in this case here, most of my guys, we use a eight gallon a minute machine. I'm using a 10. That's what I'm rocking there on my trailer. Uh, I did a whole video, oh, but you know what? that video is for members only that's right i forgot about that on how we built that my trailer uh, but i'm using a, a 10 gallon a minute machine you know so it's getting diluted by the water that's in my line that's coming out of my pump diluted down to yeah about 0.8.9 percent which is you know right where you want to be for siding you know ideal Oh, I like that. I don't want to spray too much right there where my finger is because that's where the bird, the, the bird's nest is. That's enough right there. Doesn't need any more SH here. It's white, white as snow. Um, oh, right here is full of mildew right here. Man, they really need to get their gutters done for real. Gutters are nasty. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That means their gutters are full in the inside. I'm going to talk to the owner. To whoever hired us about that right there oh coming out like butter 
Like knife through butter right there. Uh, ideal for siding is right around one. One and a half, for example, you know, you guys are gonna see this in a, in a soft washing series. You know, really, really, really bad houses. Like you guys remember, I forget what episode it is, a couple episodes ago, where we did that really dirty house, like with lichen and, and all that. It was episode, it was the first one of this series. So I'm sorry guys, it was episode 140. Anyway, the reason why I bring that up, like that would have been a perfect house for um, for soft washing with like a 1.8, man, would have cut right through that. 1.8 and you're doing one coating, maybe two on some parts and you're cutting right through that. That's strong, that's very strong because um, Ooh, right there, that window. He's got a lot of, um, what is that thing called? Cobwebs. Cobwebs here. Oh, right there. Cobweb. And uh, wasp nest. Right there. Hit the soffit right here. Hit the brick one more time because it's really bad. So, you know, uh, like I was saying, all you really need for siding, you know, and I'm saying siding that's not like in terrible, terrible shape, you know what I mean, is 1%. That's definitely strong enough for 99% for of siding that you're, you're gonna run into out there, you know, bacteria. If your solution is 1%, it's strong enough to take care of most of it. That's looking pretty good. Oh, wow. You got this one little green spot right there, but we can touch that up with pressure down there as well. He's got green on, on the, there's a wood panel there, but I could tell it's rotted. It's even got missing parts and everything. So nothing we can do there. I mean, the wood is completely gone, but you guys won't be able to see that on screen anyway. So uh, that's it guys for the sauce phase. I mean, nothing else on here that is green or anything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to that to that uh, the back side here, see if there's anything there that needs to be. Oh, right here, right here, and gone. Wow, this this house here, they need to have their gutters done. Um, they need that patio in the back done, the pool deck done. Uh, what else? What am I missing? Let me hit a couple spots up here on this fascia board. Gutter, full deck. Oh, you guys see that plane up there? That's pretty cool. Gutter. Yeah, we're gonna try to upsell some stuff here. So, by the way, we looked this up, right? Since 2019, we have done 70, it was either 78, this might be the 79th job for this one customer. The same customer that we're talking about. Oh yeah, look at that shed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these pictures. Of that shed, look at that, that's nasty. This right here, their deck looks like it's in really bad shape. Maybe they're replacing parts of it. Like I said, there's rotted out wood there and here as well. Man, that chimney, even though it wasn't part of the job, it looks way, way better. Way better. Let's see if we can hit this part here. Just a little bit more solution. I think that's why they didn't want that done, guys, is because I could see right there, it's missing a lot of the, the, the cement in between the bricks. So I'm not gonna mess with that too much. Like I said, the instructions was siding only. And I'm only touching up parts of the brick here because uh, it's so bad. But you, you can see here on the porch, the wood there is completely rotted out. That's it. Let's get, let, I'm going to switch to water because uh, now the only thing left here, guys, is just switch to water, rinse out all the, all the solution from the windows, the, the, the siding and everything. This wall here was the worst and it looks brand new. So uh, let me go ahead and switch over and I'll catch you guys on the other side. Guys, quick announcement. I've created a digital product called Mr. Bubbles Business in a Box. Check this out. 
Okay, so the Mr. Bubbles Business in a Box is actually a, a thumb drive that we're going to send to you guys to your physical address. And when you get this thumb drive, you're going to see a folder that's called Box in it. And, and then when you open it, you're going to see all of these files right here, guys, all of these folders. And guys, this thing has over 500 files, anything and everything I've ever created from my business. So all of the blueprints, uh, training modules, documents, all of the things that you guys constantly email me about, you know, your pricing PDF, your, um, your for example, you know, your your marketing blueprints, anything that you could you could need for your business is in here. That's why we call it a business in a box. One of the things that I really like about this is, guys, check out all of these pictures. So you have a total of 300 before and after pictures that you guys can add to your website and your Facebook and your Google My Business. And check this out. So there's a folder called Google SEO. And, and the pictures already have the SEO words in them. And this one photo right here has over 300. This specific folder has 190 pictures, but all in all, it's over 300 pictures. Look at some of these pictures, guys. Amazing before and afters. Pictures for you guys to be able to add to all of your social medias and whatnot. This is going to help you get a lot of customers. And of course, your edible postcards are on here. And then finally, you got training videos on here as well, guys. Like, for example, uh, the video on how to optimize your Google My Business, um, the Mr. Bubbles. You got several videos. So they're like training modules. You got all the PDFs. The bottom line, guys, is this. This is going to help you with your business. So don't miss out. Make sure that you email us so you can get your business in a box today. In order to get your business in a box, you just got to hit the link in the description of this video. And I say this all the time on the channel, guys. The more you know, the more you grow. That's how come I decided to create this business in a box because it has everything in there you need to be able to grow your business. And I really, really believe that this is going to be a game changer for you. Guys, you do not, you do not want to miss out on this one. As always, guys, remember, you got, I got about, what, 30 seconds of sauce in there. So I'm just hitting any spots that I see that are still kind of funky. Because I still got a little bit of solution left in there. Boom. And then uh, in the next 10 seconds or so, it's going to switch over to water. We'll rinse everything down. And, yeah, we're going to try to upsell here, guys, some... Um, I mean, there's easily oh it's full of paint full of paint right here i don't know where it's kind of where it came from but something here got painted it's all bricks all white there we're gonna try to upsell at least another thousand dollars worth of work here it's a lot to do here oh that window is cracked open at the at the very bottom so i don't want to use my fan tip there too much remember when when uh when you are rinsing guys top to bottom so the opposite of the of the sauce phase you know we, we've said this already a lot on the downstreaming series when you're soaping it up it's from ground to to gutter and then from when you're rinsing it's the other way around so you want to start from the top and then have all of that debris flow from the from the top all the way down to the bottom cameras i hit there's a camera right there i hit it with a little bit with my fan tip from far away just to get the soap off of it okay there you have it, right there that wall is chemical free moving on and you know so i was saying there's at least another thousand dollars worth of work here you know one of the things that man wow i preach a lot on the channel from the very beginning upselling guys bundle stuff up right now that we're here by the way this neighborhood here we are about mm, a quarter of a mile from the shop so i mean literally right up the street from the shop look guys the technique again look you see that you see that practice that guys you guys watch when you guys pay attention to that whenever you watch me work you see that i very seldom it's very rare 
that I turned the gun off. I just keep walking with the gun on. Look at that, all that water. Imagine how much water is hitting this wall right now. So all of that, that soap that was on there, gone. See that? I switch hand like this. I don't turn the gun off. You guys see that, right? And only takes, this is what, oh man, guys, I might, I probably got this one confused in terms of pricing because uh, I have everyone's schedule on my phone in terms of numbers. But, man, I think this was, it was either $479 or $379 for this house wash. It was right there. One or the other. I think it was $379. But, you know, my point is, you know, you're right around $400. Look how long it's taken me. Remember, for the downstreaming series, we're not really editing like that. Right? Look at that. Camera. Got window up there. One, two, three, four, five. We got a... Right there. Camera. Garage door. Trash cans. Ooh. Little bit of a, what's that called? Um, spider. Spider. Spider webs. Here you go. There you go. Lots of uh, spider webs here. Move over to this side here while we talk. And above all, oh, there's moss right here on this window right there. Above all, guys, you know, practice and perfect the system. As we talked about a lot, we have already talked a lot about the system here in this in this series right that's what it's all about that's your bread and butter working that system now when i pulled up here my tank was low guys like i think i had less than 50 gallons of water in my tank right so that's why wow guys this was all green and black a second ago now it looks brand new the brick does that's why mud hut right there that's why you know step number one you know connect to water supply it's obvious can't do anything without water look at that all oh, that green gone and then uh, once i connected to water and my tank was filling up this brick here you won't be able to tell but it's got like a bunch of uh cement residue because you can see this is new concrete. This has got cement residue, but we're gonna try to get rid of some of that green, a little bit of it, see if it'll come off for us. And there's a little bit of green on the other side as well. We'll try to knock it down with our, oh, where'd it go? Ooh. Oh, got it in my pocket here, my uh, 40 degree tip. Try to knock this down a little bit, even though, like I said, it's a, uh, gonna be hard because it's speckled on there the cement is There you go, a lot better, that looks a lot better. Ooh. 
whatever I can to touch it up, make it a little bit better. Go back to rinsing the windows in a house. Just this little section here and we're done, guys. Bam. Easy breezy. I'm gonna rinse this a little bit of the debris here. This is all the, the bacteria that fell from up there. Not just bacteria, what's that thing called? A bunch of cobwebs and crap. Wow, look at that. Wow. Like I said, we're gonna try to upsell some stuff here. Cause it's rare that we come to a job like this and all we do is the house actually be a good little project for you know one of my uh two-man teams you know because it's basically one one is like the <clears throat> downstreaming guy and the other one is the pressure guy and so you know you can come here two people you know with big surface cleaner eight gallon a minute machines knock this down pretty quickly very quickly see that guys that truck didn't get wet at all this one's got a couple couple wet spots on it but nothing super major and that's it and you know every job that you go to at the end at the very end the goal is the house the windows and the plants have to be chemical free house windows and plants chemical free that's the goal you guys if you guys do that at every house you go to that's already half the battle right there because if you do that then you know the way you leave it is the way you leave it right the only thing i don't like about this shop which is really rare i'm not going to be able to do uh the step number seven which is you know you do a walkthrough with the customer and collect payment and that's why you know and um as i was walking around i took a bunch of before it took like six seven before pictures because again remember the property management company that is going to pay us not the owner the owners i don't even know who they are they probably don't even know who we are they're not even here they're on vacation we were given very specific instructions to you know just do the siding but i did touch up a couple of the brick spots just because it was moldy very moldy and you know and obviously i didn't damage anything or anything that's got a mud hut right behind right behind that uh what's that thing called shutter let's go ahead and get that look at that from afar like that look right there stuck right behind that right there there you go. I can hit this with my fan tip, with my shooter tip from afar anyway. Oh, little spider right there. There you have it, guys. Just a little bit more water. Bam, done. And like I said, I mean, we're going to try our best, guys. If we do, I'm going to see if I can come here and record. I would love to you know uh record doing the concrete here then we'll add it later on to our concrete series record uh doing the concrete there pool patio well actually it's not just pool patio there's a concrete back pad back there that is as black as this truck right here there you go there you go Oh, that's it right there, guys. There you go. Let me walk away here so I can give you my final thoughts. And that's it, guys. You know, uh, make sure you pay attention to that. You know, uh, work the system. The more you work it, the more beneficial it's going to be for you and bring you amazing results. Have this system be the bread and butter of your company. Guys, concrete cleaning and house wash, that's where the money's at. 80% of our money comes from that so make sure you're putting focus on that attention to that and working the system because like I said when I got here I connected to the water did my home and plant protection I did the walk around you guys did that part with me then I did my five around there's only two houses here uh, the, the next door here he had a gate and it was locked and then the two houses in the front and you know 
now I'll do a final walkthrough, take out all the tape, uncover all the boxes and everything. And then, uh, you know, take my after picture, send it to the owner. It's credit card on file. Done. Another one on the books. Guys, I am enjoying this uh, downstreaming series with you guys. You know, make sure that you guys put a lot of comments and share and all that because it helps the algorithm push this, you know, to a wider audience because now, guys, we are in Europe. We're getting a lot of people from Germany and New Zealand and Britain and Canada and Australia. So I really appreciate you guys pushing the content and continue to do so. Also, guys, if you need, um, you know, blueprint, like, for example, you know, we talked about the pricing blueprint the pricing guideline for new guys make sure you reach out to me i will email you that you can find my email in the description of every single one of my videos i love hearing from you guys i answer all of my emails but yeah thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one bubbles out